For today's look, I will be using an Afro Kinky Curly Hair Extension from Better Lengths Hair Company. And this is the package that they sent me. And this is the hair pattern that I chose, which I felt was closest to my hair type when it is fully defined. So I'm just going to section off the back portion of my head or my hair rather to put in the clip-ins this is the first time i'm actually wearing clip-ins it's not gonna be perfect at all because this is my first time and yeah as you guys can see i struggled a little bit but it turned out well in the end so for each packaging there is 10 pieces of hair which is double weft so you'll only need one pack to do your entire head so this hair is completely a hundred percent human hair meaning you can reuse it dye it deep condition it anything you want to do to it that you normally do to your natural hair and they have a variety of hair textures for all different hair types on the website and I will leave all the information and link in my description box below You can use the coupon code CHEVB to get $8 off any double weft clip-ins. I'm leaving these two little sections at the front of my hair to cover the clip-ins when I put them at the very front section of my hair. As I said before, the clip-ins doesn't have to look neat when we're applying it. All that matters is that they are put in securely. So my partings are not that neat. They're not that straight. Just make sure that you don't put the clip-ins at the very front or the very corners of your hair because you're going to need your hair, your natural hair, to cover the clip-ins. The styling is a little technical or not that technical to explain so I hope by watching the video you guys can fully understand what I am doing. So I'm just parting, sectioning, adding clip-ins, sectioning, adding clip-ins. And the clip-ins or the wefts get smaller as you go by. They're already cut and processed for you in the packaging so you don't have to like cut the clip-ins and then ruin the weft and the hair starting to shed. It's just that easy. So I hope just watching it, you guys can understand what's going on. Now all my clippings are in, I'm just going to damp the hair a little bit, dampen my hair to define those side parts of my hair so that it can blend well with the clippings. So I'm just going to add my ever faithful eco styler gel. I'm going to add a little bit of edge control. I'm just going to add gel, add water. I don't want too much gel because I'm not trying to have no flake in this hair. Then I'm going to take this little band that I created. And I'm just going to push up on the side until I am satisfied with where the band is. And don't worry, the band won't show once we get everything up. I'm going to use a bobby pin to pin it underneath the hair so it is practically invisible.
If you have hair as short as mine or even shorter, you will understand the struggle with keeping this hair in place. So I'm just going to add a little bit more gel and I'm going to brush it up. Then I'm going to use bobby pins to hide little clippings that might be showing if my hair is not enough to cover it. So the bobby pins will give the illusion that there's no clippings there and it's just a bunch of bobby pins on the side of my hair to keep it in place. Y'all already know my final step is my edges. These are my pride and joy. There ain't no way I'm going on the street with no raggedy ass edges. So I'm just gonna lay my edges and that will be the final touches to this look. Now there you have it, my sleek side afro puff, side puff, whatever you want to call it. I am feeling it. I am loving it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was super helpful. See you guys in my next video. And always, as I say on this channel, go on, big up on yourself. Bye, guys.